Good evening. I'm Mike Reed, Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Gannett, the publisher of over 260 daily news products and USA Today, and the organizer of tonight's inspiring High School Athlete Recognition Awards. Before we begin, I want to take a moment to address recent events. The killings of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and Breonna Taylor are but a few recent examples of the devastating realities Black communities have faced for far too long. Each reflects the systemic racism, racial injustice, and inequalities that have plagued our nation's history. Gannett and the USA Today Network stand in solidarity with Black communities as an ally in the fight against discrimination in all its forms. We believe Black Lives Matter. We are committed to action to drive real and lasting change, and will use our media platforms to listen, educate, and advocate across the communities we serve. Tonight's honored student athletes set an incredible example for our nation. They demonstrate that on an equal playing field, we are at our best and can achieve greatness together. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm Hoda Kotb. Good evening, everybody. And we should say tonight is all about you. Tonight we celebrate the athletes, the families, the friends, and the sports fans. This year is not what any of us expected, but we're not going to let it stop us from celebrating the accomplishments of the best high school athletes in our communities. Not only are we recognizing and awarding the best performances in high school athletics, but we'll also be shining a light on the off the field, stories of courage and perseverance and heart that provide much needed messages of hope and inspiration for all of us during these very uncertain times. You guys together, we will get through this and we'll shine brighter. I offer a heartfelt congratulations to all of tonight's honorees who have wonderful and exciting new chapters ahead. I am convinced those of you watching can foster the skills and lessons learned playing sports to become future leaders in your communities and make the world a better place. We are counting on you. We continue to cheer for you from the sidelines. I wanna wish you guys best wishes for a bright future. Welcome to the Athens Banner Herald Best of ABH All-Star Preps Awards Show presented by Piedmont Athens Regional and Piedmont Athens Regional Sports Medicine. We are proud to honor the top high school athletes from the Athens area as we bring you the best night in high school sports across the country. The ABH All-Star Preps Awards Show begins in five, four, three, two, one. And this is my world now. This is my world now. So anyone who try to run me off, tell them they can go and write this down. This is my world now. And this is my world now. This is my world. Are you ready? The show starts now. Hey sports fans, I'm Courtney Cronin. And I'm Dr. Jerry Punch. We are thrilled to bring you what is considered to be the biggest and best high school sports celebration across the entire country. You know, Dr. Punch, I've covered sports across all levels throughout my career, and I always say my most rewarding experiences as a journalist have been telling the stories of high school athletes, and I'm thrilled that we get to be here tonight to honor the nation's best. Courtney, so much uncertainty the past few months, the pandemic around the world, business, sports, everything is ground to a screeching halt. I know so many lives have been touched and changed. How about you? Yeah, as someone who covers the NFL, we've been navigating some pretty murky waters, and while there is a lot of uncertainty in our day-to-day -day life, the one thing that's not uncertain are the accomplishments and achievements of the athletes we're about to honor. This is a night of celebration, so let's get this party started and let's meet our co-hosts joining us from New York City and Connecticut are Jesse Palmer and Sage Steele. 
I'm Jesse Palmer. And I'm Sage Steele, and we will be your hosts. What an absolute honor it is to be a part of this amazing award show to recognize the dedication, the hard work, and the perseverance by so many high school athletes. And we are talking to you. I want to offer a heartfelt congratulations for getting through these last couple of months. I know it's not how you scripted, but we hope that this is a little bit of time for you to celebrate your accomplishments with us tonight. The Athens Banner Herald is proud to bring you a star-studded award show to honor the top high school athletes in the Athens area. Brought to you by Piedmont Athens Regional and Piedmont Athens Regional Sports Medicine. What we're doing tonight is unprecedented. We're bringing together some of the biggest names in professional sports. I'm talking about Michael Phelps, Venus Williams, Drew Brees, to help us honor some of the country's best high school athletes. And Sage, I want to know, who are you pumped to see? Oh my gosh, there's so many people I cannot wait to see. How about Super Bowl MVP Patrick Mahomes, of course the great Stephen Curry, Gabby Douglas will join us as well, and Misty May Trainer, the beach volleyball superstar. So many people out there I can't wait to see. What about you guys? Thanks guys, what an incredible list of celebrities and stars. And add to that list, how about 2019 US Open champion Gary Woodland, what a rising star in the golf world. And how about Jordan Burroughs? He is a beast on the mat as a wrestler. Yeah, anytime Jessica Mendoza is on TV, is appointment viewing for me. I learned so much about the game of baseball whenever she's in the booth, and I'm kind of biased as an avid skier myself. I'm excited to see Bodie Miller tonight. Yeah, I can't wait to see Bodie either, you know? And, and I just can't believe someone talked legendary head coach Bill Belichick into doing this. What an exciting show this is going to be. You know, tonight we'll present the top honorees and then the athlete of the year for each state sanctioned sport. The honorees remember that no matter who is selected as the top award recipient, everyone is included in this show is a winner. In addition to celebrating the achievements over the last year, we're also celebrating the spirit of sport. And that's not made up of one win or one big night, but hundreds of seconds, minutes, hours, and days that create the path to this moment. And the spirit of sport is about more than just the game. It's the preparation for life. Becoming a star requires setting goals, handling criticism, taking risks, and becoming a team player. What we hope is that you celebrate this honor, but remember now is not the time to stop. The past few months have tested us all in ways we never expected. And even though we can't celebrate in person, you all deserve a moment in the spotlight. So this is your night. Now before we move into our first set of awards, we want to pause and recognize some of the loved ones who helped these young athletes grow and rise to their individual challenges. Yeah, we're talking about mom and dad and family and those you cherish as family. You have encouraged and consoled. You've cleaned up stinky, sweaty uniforms, bandaged, scraped knees, and wrapped sprained ankles. You've sat on the edge of your seat, maybe bit your nails until they were no more, cried tears of joy and heartache as you hoped that your pride and joy would achieve everything they dreamed. Mom, Dad, your little girl or boy has grown up and become a winner, in no small part thanks to your sacrifice. So this show is also a tribute to you. And not to be overlooked, Let's give some props to the coaches out there. Former legendary coach John Wooden once said, a good coach can change a game, but a great coach can change a life. Congratulations to all you coaches on a job well done. Yes, thank you to all the supporters who have helped shape these young lives. And thank you to all of our sponsors for your support in making this night possible for our community. Now, before we get to the awards, let's head to Courtney to tell us how our viewers can support the athletes and coaches tonight and be part of the celebration. All right, let's show the power of the high school sports community in Athens. During the month of June, the Athens Banner Herald will join other media groups in the USA Today Network to host a month-long fundraiser for charitable organizations assisting with COVID-19 relief efforts. And the community with the most donations will receive a matching donation from USA Today for charities in their area. So Athens, let's show the love. To donate, just click Team Athens COVID Relief on the event website. Now let's hype it up and get the show trending. Tag us on your social posts, share photos and videos from your own celebrations and watch parties with tonight's hashtags. Post on Instagram and Twitter will be shown on the social media feed on the event website when you use these hashtags to be part of the national conversation as these awards are announced while showing support for your local friends, teammates, and students. Plus, one lucky person using these hashtags on Instagram or Twitter will receive an autographed gift from one of our featured guests tonight. I'm going to donate and post right now. 
let's show some love. Now, we hope you're going to help us support COVID relief efforts throughout the country. We better be seeing your posts on social media. But now it is time to finally get this thing started. Athletes, look, you have run, you've hit, you've jumped, thrown, tossed, spiked, served, pinned, and pitched your way into the record books, into the pages of your hometown newspaper, and now into our hearts as well. But we're ready to showcase these stars for all of the world to see. Let's get the show started with one of the biggest basketball stars playing today. Presenting our basketball awards tonight is six-time All-Star, two-time MVP, and three-time NBA champion, none other than Golden State Warriors phenom, Steph Curry. Girls Basketball. The All-Star Team is sponsored by Jackson EMC. What's up, athletes? Stephen Curry here. Just want to congratulate each and every one of you on an amazing career, an amazing year, and uh, wishing you all the best when life takes you next. Basketball and the level of play continues to evolve. The fans and coaches are always looking for the next superstar who's going to change the way the game is played. Let's meet some up-and-coming stars who are on track to becoming the next game changers. The finalists for Girls Basketball Player of the Year are, and the best of the ABH Preps Girls Basketball Player of the Year is Kayla McPherson of Madison County High School. Five-star recruit Kayla McPherson led the Red Raiders to the number four seed in the state tournament and a number two seed in the Region 8 5A regular season. The junior five foot seven point guard is one of the most coveted players of college coaches and is ranked number 15 in the nation and number three at her position. She has a 96 grade out of 100. As a sophomore, she turned heads when she poured in 64 points in one game and followed that up with 60 points in another matchup. This past season, she averaged 36 points, 7.1 one rebounds, seven assists, and six steals per game. Congratulations on a fantastic season, Kayla. Boys basketball. Next up, here are your finalists for the Boys Basketball Player of the Year. And best of the ABH Preps Boys Co-Basketball Players of the Year are Quincy Canty and Tyler Johnson, both from Cedar Shoals High School. Quincy Canty and Tyler Johnson led the Jaguars to a Class 5A state runner-up finish this year behind strong leadership, athletic ability, and game-changing skill. Canty averaged 21 points and 8 rebounds per game, while Johnson averaged 18 points and 7 rebounds. Both seniors will continue their hoops careers at the University of South Carolina Aiken. Congratulations, Quincy and Tyler. Best of luck to both of you this fall at USC Aiken. To present our next award, we have one of the most decorated female athletes of all time, three-time gold medalist, world record holder, and perhaps the greatest athlete in the heptathlon and long jump, one of the all-time greats in track and field, Jackie Joyner Kersey. Girls Cross Country. Hi, I'm Jackie Joyner Kersey, Olympic champion, but some of my best memories was running and playing basketball in high school. The athletes who participate in cross country and track and field competitions must master physical and mental hurdles to run another mile, shave off the extra second, and jump a little higher. The finalists for the Girls Cross Country Runner of the Year are, ladies and gentlemen, the Girls Cross Country Runner of the Year is Jenner Champer from Okanee County High School. Freshman Jenna Champer finished third overall in the Class 4A state meet in a time of 19 minutes, three seconds, and recorded four victories during her first varsity season. Champer set a personal record time of 1831 in September at the Warpath Invitational, where she finished fourth overall and came in first at the Runners Fit Mountain Invitational, the Clark Oconee Area Championships, and the Region 8 4A Championships. Congratulations, Jenna. Boys Cross Country. And the finalists for the Boys Cross Country Runner of the Year are
The boys cross country runner of the year is Graham Blankthoff, Athens Academy. A senior who has committed to run at Harvard, Graham Blanks won the Class A private state meet for the second consecutive year and set a new course record in Carrollton with a time of 15 minutes, 51.3 seconds. On November 30th, he qualified for the Nike Cross Country Nationals in a time of 14.57 at the Nike Southeastern Region in North Carolina. Blanks won six of the seven high school meets he competed in this fall. Congratulations, Graham. Moving right along, we have a crowded field of competitors and one of the best of all time to announce the top players. Here to present the top football athletes, we have none other than Saints quarterback and Super Bowl MVP Drew Brees. Football. Hey, I'm Drew Brees. I just want to encourage you to keep up the good fight both on and off the field. Sports isn't forever, but positive impacts on your community last a lifetime. I've played a lot of football in my time. I've been injured, set records, lost heartbreakers, and won big games. But believe it or not, some of my best memories are from playing high school football. In 1996, we were the 5A Division II state champions in the state of Texas. And of all the accomplishments I've been able to experience on the football field, that was probably one of my greatest ones ever. The finalists for Football Player of the Year are... And the Football Player of the Year is... Max Johnson of Oconee High School. Senior quarterback Max Johnson threw for 2,143 yards and 30 touchdowns and rushed for another six touchdowns as the Warriors advanced to the Class 4A state championship game against Blessed Trinity and won the Region 8 4A championship for the first time since 2015. The six foot four inch standout committed to play at LSU. He's the son of Super Bowl champion and former Tampa Bay quarterback Brad Johnson and the nephew of Mark Richt, former head coach for Georgia. With his dad at the helm as the Oconee quarterbacks coach, he blossomed into the number 10 pro style quarterback in the country according to 247 Sports. Johnson finished his prep career with 5,140 passing yards and 47 touchdowns along with 289 rushing yards and 14 touchdowns. Congratulations, Max. Good luck at LSU. Here to present our next set of awards is former ESPN Sunday Night Baseball analyst and current baseball operations advisor for the New York Mets, and she's a two-time Olympian. How about all that? Jessica Mendoza. Softball. Hey everyone, it's Jessica Mendoza. I know this is a different time. My heart goes out to all of you in your communities, but I'm also really excited for this next venture, what you have coming up next for so many of you. I feel like this time has allowed so many of us, I know for me too, to really appreciate why we play sports, why we do the things that we do, really what gives us that passion and that drive and I know that this time is doing the same for you. There are many baseball and softball players across the country who didn't get a chance to step on a field this season. But I am so pleased to be able to help recognize some rising softball players. Don't stop now. The finalists for Softball Player of the Year. And the ABH Preps Softball Player of the Year is Keeley Glenn of Oconee High. Senior catcher Keeley Glenn, a four-year starter for Oconee County, led the Warriors to a third-place finish at the Class 4A State Tournament in Columbus by hitting 474 with 39 RBIs, 15 runs, 16 walks, 15 doubles, and only nine strikeouts. Congratulations, Keeley, your Softball Player of the Year. Our next guy, I don't even know where to begin. I guess I could start with his 28 Olympic medals, of which 23 of those are gold. Or maybe the time that he was named the Sports Illustrated Sportsman of the Year. He's a world champion, world record holder, and the most decorated swimmer of all time, Michael Phelps. Girls swimming. I spent a significant portion of my life in the pool. And I know firsthand the commitment that each of these swimmers has made to be the best. It all starts with a dream. Then you put in the work, 
You make the sacrifices. You chase that dream one stroke at a time. Every hundredth of a second you gain gets you closer to that dream. The extra laps in the early morning separate you from the rest of the competition. Everything you've done, everything you've learned, everything you've put into becoming the best is all worthwhile when you see your name at the top of the board. Enjoy the moment. You've earned it. The finalist for the Girls Swimmer of the Year. Best of ABH Preps Girls Coast Swimmer of the Year are Olivia Del Torre of Oconee County High and Karen Zhao of North Oconee High School. Olivia Del Torre was a three-time state champion this year, winning the 200 individual medley and the 100 butterfly individually and teaming up with her Warrior Water mates for a 200 free relay win. She also finished fourth in the 200 medley relay. Karen Zhao earned a pair of individual state titles, bringing home first in the 200 and 100 freestyle races. She teamed up with her Titan Tide teammates for third in the 400 free relay and fifth in the 200 free relay. Congratulations, Olivia and Karen. Boys swimming. Now to the boys lane. The finalists for the boys swimmer of the year are Best of ABH Preps Boys Swimmer of the Year is Ryan Wiley of Oconee County High School. Ryan Wiley won the 200 and 500 yard freestyle races and helped his 200 free relay team finish first at the GHSA 1 5A State Championships at Georgia Tech's Aquatic Center. He and the 400 free relay team also came in fifth. Congratulations, Ryan. We've had so many professional athletes as part of this program who are at the top of their game. The next is no exception. She's considered one of the greatest beach volleyball players in the history of the sport. Please welcome Misty May Trainer. Volleyball. Hey guys, this is Misty May Trainer. I am so happy to be celebrating you. I wish I could be there in person. I know this is a virtual time we're living in right now. But again, I am so happy to be celebrating with you. Congratulations to all the seniors. Congratulations on all the awardees. Congratulations to everyone graduating. The best volleyball players have a motivation to rise above the competition and to put their team in a position to score and win. They tax their bodies and test their stamina, putting in countless hours of training to perfect their skill. It's time to dig up the best of the best for volleyball. The finalists for Volleyball Player of the Year are... The ABH Preps Co-Volleyball Players of the Year are Kara Wells and Kylie Zimmer, both of Jackson County Comprehensive High School. Kara Wells and Kylie Zimmer, both senior captains, led the Panthers to the quarterfinals of the Class 3A state tournament. Jackson County also won the Region 8 3A championship and went 38-13 overall behind Wells. An outside hitter who had 120 service points, 367 kills, 291 digs, 95 assists, and 12 blocks. And Zimmer, a setter who had 949 assists, 258 digs, 38 kills, and 120 service points. Congratulations, Kara and Kylie. Our next presenter is on his way to becoming the most decorated American wrestler in history. He's a Hodge Trophy winner, which is like the Heisman for wrestling. He's a four-time world champion and gold medal winner. Give it up for Jordan Burroughs. Wrestling. What's up guys, Jordan Burroughs here, Olympic and world champion at 74 kilograms for the United States of America. I am happy to be here today with you guys and congratulations to all of the winners this evening. This is a very special day. Something that I'm happy to be a part of, especially because looking at my career now, at this point where you guys are, I never knew what I was capable of. And the cool thing about it is you guys still have so much ahead of you. I wanna to talk to all of the athletes out there about strength not just physical strength, but mental strength, about getting back up, shaking off the losses and trying again. We need that now more than ever. We need to get back up again kind of attitude. And it's my focus as I prepare for the next Olympics. But I'd like to challenge all the viewers out there to embrace this mindset, work together, and let's rise to the challenge of winning again. 
And the finalists for Boys Wrestler of the Year are The Wrestler of the Year is Elijah Burns from Commerce High School. Elijah Burns successfully defended his state championship from a season ago, finished his junior season with a 30-1 overall record, and helped the Tigers win their seventh straight traditional title. Congratulations, Elijah. You are the ABH All-Star Wrestler of the Year. Again, congratulations to all of our Player of the Year honorees and award winners. From the big stars to the rising stars, I just love hearing these athletic greats announce the next generation of award-winning, show-stopping athletes. So let's show some love to all of them too, right? Show us all your celebrations and congratulations on social media. Make sure you're showing your support, photos and videos from your watch parties or even photos of your favorite moments throughout the season. Speaking of showing some love, we have something special in store for you tonight. While we're recognizing those who were able to train, perform, and excel in their sports, there were so many student athletes who were stopped short of reaching their goals when spring sports and other big milestones were canceled due to protecting students and fans from the spread of COVID-19. For all of you seniors out there, this is for you. Hey guys, this is Gabby Douglas. Hey guys, it's Patrick. Hey guys, it's Steph. Hey guys, Wayne Gretzky here. This is Jessica Mendoza. This is Venus Williams. We just want you to know. For every player who couldn't step onto the field. Who missed their last game. Who won't play that final match. Who never scored that last goal. Who missed the state playoffs. Who didn't go to prom. Or walk across the stage. This. This. This is for you. We know. You are to learn. We feel it too. The stillness. The silence. The absence. We never had the chance. We never felt what could have been. We worked. We practiced. We sweat, cried, and bled for those moments. For those opportunities. For those memories. And just like that, it stopped. But we cannot stop. We are not finished. Our chance to win is not over. The future is still calling. And it's calling your name. So don't stop learning. Don't stop training. Don't stop trying. And don't stop dreaming. Because the future, my future, our future, starts today. Don't, don't stop, stop now. now. Powerful message for all our seniors out there. I'm here to ask you to get one more message trending, and it's one we all need to hear. Hashtag don't stop now. And just to give this some extra momentum, we'll choose one person who uses this hashtag on Instagram or Twitter and award them with $1,000 and donate $1,000 to the COVID relief charity of their choice. Seniors, whatever your future may hold, good luck and don't stop now.
Hopefully we'll be back on the fields and courts sooner rather than later. Here to present the D1 Training Sportsmanship Award is ACC Network Analyst and former Bulldog Head Coach, Mark Richt. Hi, it's Coach Richt and I'm excited to be here at the ABH Prep Sports Banquet. I was hoping to be there in person, but it just didn't work out as we know that. COVID-19 kind of messed everything up, but uh, I'm excited to be a part of this virtual uh, version of it. And I think my plan is to be back next year in person. So if you guys still want me, I'll be there. But uh, I did want to say congratulations to all the award recipients and everybody who's, who is considered for an award. Uh, it's a great honor I know for you guys and I'm excited for you. The Sportsmanship Award was established in memory of 19-year-old Drew Swan to honor other student athletes who will follow in his footsteps for years to come. Drew, a 2017 graduate of Athens Academy, passed away tragically from injuries sustained in a skateboarding accident less than a month after graduation. Drew was a multi-sport athlete who, while excelling in competition, regularly displayed five key virtues that distinguished him for the Sportsmanship Award. Fairness to others, self-control, courage, tenacity, and respect for authority and opponents. Here are the nominees for the D1 Training Sportsmanship Award. The finalists for the D1 Training Sportsmanship are The winner of this year's D1 Training Sportsmanship Award has great respect for people from all walks of life, and he's mature enough to encourage teammates to show good sportsmanship on and off the field. This year's D1 Training Sportsmanship Award goes to Randy Tompkins, Cross Country, Oglethorpe County High School. Congratulations, Randy. For our next Premier Award, we'll be recognizing athletes who've shown tremendous versatility in athletics. First, we have the Aikens Arena Versatile Female Athlete of the Year Award. The nominees for the Aikens Arena Most Versatile Female Athlete of the Year are... And the finalists for the Aikens Arena Most Versatile Female Athlete of the Year are... And the winner is Lucy Yeomans of Clark Central. This year's Aikens Arena Most Versatile Female Player of the Year is an accomplished swimmer and cross-country runner. She is also a duly enrolled student. She completed high school with a 4.33 GPA and ranked third in her graduation class. While maintaining her GPA, she excelled in two sports. She is the State 4A 5A champion in the 500-yard freestyle and the State 4A 5A runner-up in the 200-yard freestyle for the 2019-2020 season. She was fifth in state at cross country championships. She was a semifinalist for the Stamps Presidential Scholarship at Georgia Tech and is a member of the National Honor Society. Congratulations, Lucy, very impressive. And now for the Aikens Arena Versatile Male Athlete of the Year. The nominees for the Aikens Arena Most Versatile Male Athlete of the Year are, and the finalists for the Aikens Arena Most Versatile Male Athlete of the Year are, ladies and gentlemen, Shay and Cook of Appalachian High. Coaches recognize senior Sean Cook, a standout performer in football, basketball, and track as the most versatile athlete in the school. On the court, he was asked to play multiple positions, guard multiple positions, and always gave every ounce of effort he had into each role. On the football field, he was the two-way player of the year in Region 8 6A, was nominated to play in the FCA All-Star Game, and was named to the All-Area Team. In track, he placed in the top 15 in the state for long jump, as well as the 4x100 during his junior season. He signed a full scholarship to play college football at Savannah State. Congratulations, Cheyenne, the Aikens Arena Versatile Male Athlete of the Year. Next up, we have the Donegal Insurance Group Male and Female Freshman of the Year Award. Hi, it's Gabby Douglas. It's my pleasure to announce the Freshman of the Year. As someone who got started very early in life with athletics, I know that training and focus can help guide you toward your goals. I desire all of our award winners the ability to walk a path to your dreams. And the nominees for the Donegal Insurance Group Female Freshman of the Year 
and the finalists for the Donegal Insurance Group Female Freshman of the Year. And now the Female Freshman of the Year is Antonia Pittman of East Jackson. Antonia Pittman impacted her team by showing 110% passion, heart, and desire. She led her basketball team in scoring, averaging 14.3 points per game, and led the team in steals with 3.3 per game. She also recorded 88 steals to break the school record for the most steals in a season by 13 and tagged 79 assists for the season while helping her team tie the school record for wins in a season. Her energy fueled the team and she didn't allow her status as a freshman to hold her back. She displayed a level of commitment that is higher than most student athletes her age, scoring 21 points or more five times. Pittman is a two-sport athlete, also competing in track and field. She also excels in the classroom with a 3.5 GPA while taking honors classes. Congratulations, Antonia, already making your mark. And now, the male freshman of the year. And the nominees for the Donegal Insurance Group Male Freshman of the Year. And the finalists for the Donegal Insurance Group Male Freshman of the Year. And the Male Freshman of the Year is Garrett Kennedy of North Oconee. Garrett Kennedy transferred to North Oconee as a freshman and immediately jumped in to participate on the swim team. He was unable to compete at the start of the season due to injury, but helped to coach inexperienced teammates on technique and assisted the coaches with duties throughout the day. He assisted his swim program from the sidelines, encouraging and recording stats while he was nursing his injury. His positive attitude and presence continued to be a critical asset to the team's success. Congratulations, Garrett. Impressive start. The next award is for a student athlete who has shown their commitment to being a leader on and off the field. Off the field leadership provides a shining example for peers while also impacting their community in specific and positive ways. And now the nominees for the Newell Orthodontics Community Leader Award are the finalists for the Newell Orthodontics Community Leader Award are And the Newell Orthodontics Community Leader Award recipient is Colby Clark of Jefferson High. Coaches say that quarterback Colby Clark displays some of the best examples of leadership that they've seen in 25 years. A four-year starter on the football team, he takes the time to visit injured players and engage with fans. He's adored by younger students of his community while leading a mentoring program at an elementary school and also serving as a big brother through the March Madness Leadership and Team Development Program. Without any compensation, he provided daily rides to and from practice for those who need it. In addition to playing at the quarterback position, he has also been the leading tackler, punter, and played running back and on special teams as needed. His athletic skills earned him the Region 8 3A Player of the Year, but it's his skills off the field that earned him the title of the Newell Orthodontic Community Leader of the Year. Congratulations, Colby. Comeback Athlete. The road to records and wins can be filled with ups and downs. Young athletes can be faced with challenges that they must deal with head on in order to succeed. These aren't always the stories you see on the front cover, but usually they are the ones that are the most inspiring. Our next award is the Piedmont Athens Regional Comeback Athlete of the Year, given to a student athlete who has overcome adversity and shown resilience and determination. And the nominees for the Piedmont Athens Regional Orthopedic Sports Medicine Female Comeback Athlete of the Year are, and the finalists for the Piedmont Athens Regional Orthopedic Sports Medicine Female Comeback Athlete of the Year are, the 2020 Piedmont Athens Regional Female Comeback Athlete of the Year is Emma Walsh of Madison County. Emma Walsh injured her shoulder last spring, which forced her to have to have surgery. She then spent her summer rehabbing and recovering instead of playing volleyball. She attended summer workouts and practices when she could not physically participate. The only time she missed with the team was when they were at camp and she was at physical therapy. Still having lingering effects and a lack of shoulder mobility during the season, she was not able to make a second run at being the team's leading hitter. But her passion for her team and competition allowed her to settle into a defensive-only role for her senior season. 
and she ended up being the key factor in her team's success. Named team captain, defensive player of the year, and all region 8-4A, she led her team in successful serve receptions and set the all-time school record for serve receptions. Even after being injured, Belmont Abbey will still uphold her recruitment because of her ability to play the game at a high level. Congratulations, Emma. What an amazing story of not giving up. And the nominees for the Piedmont Athens Regional Orthopedic Sports Medicine Male Comeback Athlete of the Year are... And the finalists for the Piedmont Athens Regional Orthopedic Sports Medicine Male Comeback Athlete of the Year are... The 2020 Piedmont Athens Regional Male Comeback Athlete of the Year is Cade McNally of Jefferson High. After Cade McNally was told he would not be able to play football during his senior season after a devastating injury last year, the athlete worked hard and returned as one of the team's best players. Upon his return, he became a leader at linebacker and was the only unanimous first team all region and was runner up for region defensive player of the year. Four times, he was named the team's offensive player of the week and six times, he earned the team's honor for defensive player of the week. He led his team to a region championship and a state quarterfinal appearance. After his fight against childhood cancer and returning from one of the worst knee injuries his coach had ever seen, he will go down as having one of the best seasons ever at Jefferson High School. Congratulations, Cade. Awesome work in focus. The Nakanishi Manufacturing Unsung Hero Award highlights someone who is dedicated to support a team and goes above and beyond. While they may not be an athlete on the team, their support is critical, their leadership an example, and their passion to service unwavering. They too have a critical role for the high school awards community. And the nominees for the Nakanishi Manufacturing Unsung Hero are... And the finalists for the Nakanishi Manufacturing Unsung Hero are... And the 2020 Nakanishi Manufacturing Unsung Hero Award goes to Brandy Price of Madison County. Without exaggeration, this year's winner is the most selfless teenager the nominating coach has ever known. Brandy Price, team assistant for volleyball at Madison County High School, tried out for her specific team four times and she did not make the team. Each season, she accepted with a smile and immediately asked how she could help. She attended all practices in order to help and never missed a match in four years. Price led the promotional efforts for every single fundraiser. She took over the role of scorekeeper her junior year and became part of the officiating crew. For all of the great love and passion she has shown this program, she was awarded the Red Raiders Coach Award at the team banquet, an award given annually to an athlete on the team, but according to coaches, it was simply undeniable that she was the greatest teammate this program had ever seen. Congratulations, Brandy. Your unwavering commitment to team is something we can all learn from. This next award is for the student athletes who not only got it done on the field, but also in the classroom. Juggling schoolwork and extracurriculars is not an easy feat, yet these student athletes managed to excel at both. And the nominees for the Oconee State Bank Female Academic Athlete are And the finalists for the Oconee State Bank Female Academic Athlete are... And the Oconee State Bank ABH Preps Female Academic Athlete of the Year is... Piper Sitersky of North Oconee. Multi-sport standout and academic superstar Piper Sitersky led her team to school records in both swimming and soccer. She has earned the title of defensive MVP in soccer during her junior year and was a state qualifier in swimming her freshman and sophomore years. She is a member of the Beta Club and the recipient of multiple student scholar awards. As a senior, she participated in Congress Bundestag Youth Exchange Program, which required her to live in Germany for a portion of her senior year. While studying abroad, she played soccer for a German adult women's semi-professional team. She was part of Georgia's Governor's Honors Program and she is considered magna cum laude on the National Latin Exam. She has maintained a 4.0 GPA while participating fully in her sports and multiple other extracurricular activities. She has taken 11 AP courses and scored a 1560 on her SAT and is headed to Harvard University next year. Congratulations, Piper. 
And the nominees for the Oconee State Bank Male Academic Athlete are... And the finalists for the Oconee State Bank Male Academic Athlete are... And the ABH Preps Male Academic Athlete of the Year is Theron Camp of Clark Central. Cross country runner Theron Camp demonstrates dedication, focus and hard work in every activity he takes on. As a high school senior, this student athlete enrolled full time at the University of Georgia via the dual enrollment program. He is a national merit semifinalist and is on track to receive the Zell Miller Scholarship should he decide to remain at the University of Georgia after he graduates from high school. As a star student recipient, this student athlete had a grade point average that is in the top 10% of their class and posted their school's top SAT score this year. He completed the school year with a 4.0 GPA and ranked second in his class at Clark Central High School. Congratulations, Theron. We focused a lot tonight on the student athletes, but as we mentioned at the beginning of the show, lessons of leadership, skills to win, and the belief you can do more must come from the top. And coaches who have a tradition of winning develop systems to build award-winning programs. They aren't relying solely on sporadic flashes of athletic talent. They are focused on teaching a group of individuals to become a true team. Back to present the Coach of the Year Awards is legendary University of Georgia football coach, Mark Richt. As we continue to celebrate the amazing accomplishments of our athletes tonight, we must also recognize the visionaries who guide our young stars, helping them reach their full potential. It was an honor for me to coach at Georgia for so many years, and I know the top talent that comes out of this state and what it takes from the high school coaches to take the athletes to the next level. And for the best coaches, we see them using that influence to help them develop traits for success in life. I believe the ABH coach honorees have shown this kind of leadership. And the honorees for Coach of the Year are, and the finalists for the Coach of the Year are, and the ABH Coach of the Year is Kendall Love. Commerce High had been dominant on the wrestling mats, and while they claimed another GHSA state crown, this year was far from a breeze. Facing a major uphill climb on the final day of competition, Coach Kendall Love had to dig deep to rally the troops for a comeback for the ages and a heart-stopping victory over the team's budding nemesis. In doing so, this team captured its seventh straight traditional state wrestling championship, doing so by one point after mounting one of the best performances in state wrestling history, securing also his second consecutive title as the ABH Coach of the Year. Congratulations, Coach. Way to go, way to take care of business. Hello, my name is Ken Wells, I'm the Director of Rehab. And on behalf of the entire team at Piedmont Athens Regional, we are honored to present the 2020 Male and Female Athlete of the Year Awards. Athletics play an important role in the young people's development. And it's just not about physical skills, participating in sports teaches teamwork, leadership, determination, commitment, hard work, and sacrifice. These are invaluable qualities that will serve these athletes, not just on the field or court, but throughout their lives. So on behalf of everyone at Piedmont Athens Regional, I'd like to congratulate the male and female athletes of the year. Next up is the Piedmont Athens Regional Male and Female Athlete of the Year Award. Now it's time for the biggest awards of the night. Here to present is an athlete who at only 24 years old has set the league on fire. NFL MVP, Super Bowl MVP, Kansas City Chiefs quarterback, Patrick Mahomes. Hey everybody, it's Patrick Mahomes of the Kansas City Chiefs. Real sorry we couldn't be there today, but we wanted to make this extra special as we get through this time together. We've reached our final awards of the night, Athlete of the Year. The awards recognize accomplishments that are often above and beyond even the highest level of performance. Female Athlete of the Year. Nationally, we have seen phenomenal growth in women's sports. That recognition is long overdue. Let's meet some of the female athletes who will continue that momentum and shatter expectations. The finalists for Female Athlete of the Year are, and the ABH All-Star Preps Female Athlete of the Year is, Kayla McPherson of Madison County High. 
This two-time Athens Banner Herald All-Area Player of the Year, Kayla McPherson is ready to revolutionize women's basketball, and there are plenty of coaches who seem to think she can do just that. She's a five-star recruit who regularly gets a flurry of texts from D1 schools, asking her to keep them in mind when she makes her college decision. A five-foot-seven point guard, she ranks number three in the nation at her position. On any given day during open contact period, walking through the halls of Madison County High School, you can find coaches from UConn, Baylor, Stanford, and Georgia. Close to 40 coaches came through to be seen, not to see her, but just for her to see that they were interested. Congratulations, Kayla. You're the Female Athlete of the Year. Male Athlete of the Year. Now it's time to move to the guys, to recognize the best of the best in boys' high school sports. Your Male Athlete of the Year. The finalists for Male Athlete of the Year are and the ABH All-Star Preps Male Athlete of the Year is Graham Blanks of Athens Academy. Harvard commit Graham Blanks won the Class A private cross-country state meet for the second consecutive year and set a new course record in Carrollton with a time of 15 minutes, 51.3 seconds. In November, he qualified for the Nike Cross Country Nationals by winning the Nike Southeast Regional in North Carolina in a time of 1457. In the national meet in Portland, Oregon, he finished 28th overall. The Spartan won six of the seven high school meets he competed in during the fall and was poised to have a strong track season this spring before meets were canceled due to the COVID pandemic. Congratulations, Graham. You're the male athlete of the year. Thank you, Patrick. And for one final time, let's keep the celebration going. Remember to show your support on social media with tonight's hashtags. Back to you, Sage and Jesse. Thank you, Courtney. I'd also like to once again thank our sponsors who made this night possible. We truly could not do it without you. Stick around to see photos of all the all-stars featured here tonight and a few words from the businesses that made this night possible. And from the staff at the Athens Banner Herald, Thanks for your support and for reading the inspiring sports stories throughout the year. You can see details on how to subscribe or to get more information on getting copies of tonight's show. Congratulations, everybody. Don't stop now. Keep pushing through. Good night. That's a wrap from all of us. And remember, it's all about the journey. Don't stop now.